I think it's a really interesting question because I would say I, I'm a sports person. I've always been into sport as a, as a competitor and as just interested, but my career for the last 20 years has had nothing to do with sport. controversial and say a bit of both <laughs> <laughs> so that I guess it it depends who you're talking to I think from a from like a clinical patient background if someone asked me it's more of like a science person because it's completely separate to sport and it's on exercise but if I was speaking to someone about a sports team or a player or anything like that I'm a sports person because of like my like degree side of everything and like what I've learned and the background behind sport and how it all evolves and everything like that. So it kind of depends on who's asking. It can be either sport or a science person. I think it's a really interesting question because I would say I, I'm a sports person. I've always been into sport as a, as a competitor and as just interested, but my career for the last 20 years has had nothing to do with sport. So it's totally on the exercise science end. So very much science, exercise, and nothing to do with sport. So that's how it's kind of transgressed and progressed into that end. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree in saying that it's a mixture of both. Um, but in sort of more simple terms, I think the academia is science. Like, obviously, there is a lot of sport within it, but the majority of it is science. Um, and then sort of within that, um, obviously, you're acting as a sportsman. Um, like there's there's lots of teamwork that goes on, which is obviously applicable to a sports environment as well. Um, and within the degree, you're obviously encouraged to play the sports that you enjoy. Um, so I think sort of the passion and the enjoyment of sport helps with the sportsmanship. And then the majority of the actual studying and the academics is probably more scientific. Like I, I agree with it being both. But if, you know, if it's to be in really sort of simple terms, I think to say sportsmanship is more of what the degree is about sort of oversimplifies it a bit. So I'd you, say it's more scientific. You kind of learn about the science with the context of sport. Yeah. But everyone kind of has a sporting interest or else it's quite hard to try and engage with it from a sporting context. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's like you learn the science first and then you relate it to the sport Yeah. afterwards. I definitely started off more sport orientated and then um, from learning all of the um, science and clinical side of things, that took my interest more. I think st students learn scientific skills such as problem solving and critical thinking that could be applied to any discipline whether it's sport or any other mm. any other field that's that's crucial to their experience their experience here um sport is obviously integral to what we do and it's generally speaking it's of a huge uh, interest to the students but whether they whether the students go on and work in sport or some other field they'll take with them the scientific skills that they've that they've learned here and for us as academics that's 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 crucial that they learn those skills that can be applied to a wide range of fields that sounded like a very manufactured uh, <laughs> that I kind of prepared beforehand, but I hadn't actually. That was rehearsed. I actually, that was rehearsed. No, that wasn't natural. You learn life skills as well at university, <clears throat> like on the course and outside of the course, I feel like. Um, independence, confidence, communication skills, everything. And the assessments help you with that as well. Um, like, as much as I hate them, presentations to help like with your communication skills and confidence. And you're going to have to do present, you're going to have to be comfortable speaking publicly yeah, irrespective of that, whatever yeah. fields you go into, whether mm -hmm. it's sport, yeah. whether it's working with teams or athletes, it doesn't really matter. It's, yeah. it's such a, it's a and it's such skill. a difficult thing to do. I remember the first time I was asked to speak publicly, I just found it terrifying. I think a lot of our students experience that as well, but by, I'd hope that by the end of the three years, they're gradually becoming more comfortable yeah. with that experience. And that's crucial because there, so many jobs require Re require that kind of skill, those kind of communication skills. 
I think one unique thing about the department is, this, <laughs> is the student thesis conference, which I've never seen before. And it's a conference for students and it happens every year. And those transferable skills really do are developed in on that particular day. The students preparing their, their work, their research, presenting it and discussing it with colleagues. I think it's an absolutely fantastic thing to, to do um, in the department, in the school. And when it's actually your work and your research, you enjoy speaking about it. Yeah. And like you want to like educate other people as well. Yeah. And it's something that you're passionate about. Mm. I think you should be like proud of it as well. I, I think there's always a sense of being proud from a, yeah. a an academic perspective when we see our students presenting all these these wonderful ideas and the way that they want those ideas to to have an impact mm. on, you know, whether it's a, a specific population or the general and how the information that they gather from that research is going to inform whatever practice that they're going to for yeah. in university. I always find it a really nice, warm feeling kind of day, which is strange, but it, it's nice. And you can see the smile on everyone's face at the end of the day. They've, they've been thoroughly fulfilled. It's, it's just, you can see it. It's a really fulfilling experience for the students, I think. It's also <laughs> exhausting. <laughs> 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 Worth it though. <laughs> Do you like biomechanics? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most people say no, but I do. <laughs> okay. uh, you're the exception. <laughs> <laughs> Seems so. <laughs> A lot heavy maths, isn't it? Yeah, so you're good at maths? I like to think so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not. Um, no, same. <laughs> My mind isn't very mathematical, so it's yeah. hard work for me, yeah. Yeah, that sure. sort of thing. But then at the same time, that's not sort of something that people should be put off by because obviously yeah. maths is a part of many different subjects but like as you know as we've discussed there's so many sort of practical elements and other lab work that isn't just maths orientated yeah yeah like cooking <laughs> we had to cook meals <laughs> that was fun there's an element of maths in that, isn't there? Because you've got to get the yeah. <laughs> each of the numbers and measurements got to be broadly. You know. One egg plus one egg is yeah. two eggs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's so many Basic different maths. variety of assignments in. I don't know about the other courses, but in nutrition especially, there's like presentation. We're doing like a dragon's den one soon. Um, I'm not really sure Sounds how good. that's going to go. You have to present a new ergogenic aid um, and get them to pitch in and give you money oh. for it not actually that we had to do like a fake experiment so um we could make that as perfect as you wanted this ergogenic aid made them 100 percent better <laughs> that's a really good idea send it my way <laughs> <laughs> yeah but the variety definitely helps with like building skills yeah. um and also having fun at the same time it like makes it more fun, like making a cooking video doesn't seem like an assignment um, until you have to put all the scientific stuff yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah. I think sort of building upon that, I'm not very academic personally, well I don't think I am, um, but sort of the elements of being able to have a lot of practical sort of examinations from that, from that regard I think is quite useful for someone like myself who doesn't see themselves as a brilliant academic writer or Sometimes when it comes to like speaking exams, I'm not sort of, I struggle to articulate what I want to say sometimes, but being able to then still apply it practically doesn't always sort of affect mm. the sort of things that way. Yeah, I think honestly one of the hardest things I've found, which is completely unrelated to sports, health and exercise science, is generally just time management. I'm not very good. And uh, I think it's... It's something that obviously you have to learn. Like you need to be able to manage your time well, especially when you've got placement, you've got exams, you've got other assessments, you've got all the lectures and the seminars that you need to attend. You've got your outside like extracurricular activities. Like it, it is hard to strike a balance. Um, but yeah, when, when you enjoy the subject that you're learning, it's, it's so much easier. Yeah, it's easier to motivate yourself to do it. I guess. But like Tom was saying, some days just don't go to plan. You just wake up and you just like, no. Yeah, but it's not day. the day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the other days, though, 
you get so much done and it's, it, you have a good feeling at the end of the day. <laughs>